Installing Outdoor Wireless Access Points Featuring TrendNet's TEW740APBO2K and TEW840APBO2K. In this video, we'll go over a few installation tips that will help with the setup of your TrendNet Outdoor Wireless Access Points, models TEW740APBO2K and TEW840APBO2K. Initial Testing Please note that TrendNet's Access Point Bridge Kits are pre-configured to work out of the box. The first step is to perform an initial test to make sure the units are working correctly before installing them at the location. Connect each access point to a PoE injector. Then connect one PoE injector to the Internet and connect the other one to a computer. Make sure each injector also has power. Point the two access points at each other about 15 feet apart from one another. If the computer can access the internet, then the initial testing is successful and both units are working correctly. Installing access points at the location. APs must be at least 10 feet above ground and facing each other. APs must have line of sight. How to configure each access point. Identify your IP address. An IP address is a unique set of numbers that network devices use to communicate with each other. For home or office networks, network devices, such as your computer, normally receive the IP address from your router automatically. Advanced users may manually assign an IP address to each network device. The two TrendNet access points included in the kits referenced in this video have preset IP addresses, 192.168.10.50 and 192.168.10.51 respectively with subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. The IP address is also printed on the device label. To configure the access point, you would first manually configure a network computer with IP address 192.168.10.10, subnet mask 255.255.255.0, Connect the network computer to the access point. And then open the web browser to go to http colon slash slash 192.168.10.50 or http colon slash slash 192.168.10.51. Checking the wireless bridge connection quality. TEW740 APBO. In this AP's GUI, click on the Wireless tab at the top of the page and navigate to the WDS status page. Locate the RSSI value. This is displayed as a negative number, therefore, the lower the value the better. For a good signal, it should be lower than 60. TEW840 APBO On the left-hand side of this AP's GUI, under Overview, Click on Connections. Locate the RSSI value. Again, this is displayed as a negative number, therefore, the lower the value the better. For a good signal, it should be lower than 60. Changing Wireless Channel Both access points in the bridge must be configured to use the same Wi-Fi channel. TEW740 APBO Navigate to the Radio Zero Basic Setup page by selecting from the top of the page under Wireless. Select the new channel, then click Save. Make sure you change the channel on the remote TEW740 APBO from the management client first. TEW840 APBO Log in to the TEW840 APBO WDS access point, 
with default IP address of 192.168.10.50. You need to define the channel in use on this unit. The TEW840APBOWDS station, with default IP address 192.168.10.51, will automatically connect to the channel in use on the WDS access point and does not require configuration. Navigate to the wireless page found under the Network tab on the left side of the screen. Click the Configuration button next to Channel. Select a new channel, then click Save. Installing multiple kits on the same network. We mentioned earlier that the IP address is a unique set of numbers for each network device. So if you are installing more than one set of the access point kit on the same network, you will need to manually change the second set access point's IP address. From 192.168.10.50 to 192.168.10.52 and 192.168.10.51 to 192.168.10.53. For a third set, you would set the IP address to 192.168.10.54 and 192.168.10.55. All of them with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. We hope these tips have been helpful. Now, you are ready to set up your own TrendNet Outdoor Wireless Access Points.